Victoria Newland, President Obama's Assistant Secretary of State for European and Eurasian Affairs from September 2013 until January 2017, has been linked to the notorious anti-Trump dossier fabricated by Hillary Clinton's opposition research firm. The author of the dossier, Christopher Steele, reportedly had developed long-standing relationships with senior State Department officials, including Newland. Between 2014 and 2016, Steele authored more than 100 reports on Russia and Ukraine. These were written for a private client but shared widely within the State Department and sent up to Secretary of State John Kerry and to Assistant Secretary of State Victoria Newland, who was in charge of the U. As response to the Ukraine crisis. Dot to understand better how the dossier's spurious charges were spread around the Obama administration, Judicial Watch filed a Freedom of Information Act FOIA, lawsuit against the U.S. Department of State for communications between Newland and employees of Fusion GPS, as well as top-ranking Department of Justice, FBI, and State Department officials. Judicial Watch sued because the State Department failed to respond to our November 1, 2018, FOIA request, Judicial Watch v. U.S. Department of State, No. 119 CV00574. They are seeking any and all records of communication between Ambassador Victoria Newland and any of the following individuals between January 1, 2016, and January 25, 2017. Professor Joseph Mifsud.mr. Christopher Steele.mr. Glenn Simpson.mrs. Nellie Ower.Former CIA Director John Brennan. Former Undersecretary of State Patrick Kennedy. Former Attorney General Loretta Lynch. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. Former Acting Attorney General Sally Yates. Former Assistant Attorney General John P. Carlin. Former Deputy Assistant Attorney General George Toscas. Former Dodge official David Lofman. Former Homeland Security Advisor Lisa Monaco. Former Associate Deputy Attorney General Bruce Sower. Former FBI Director James Comey. Former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe. Former FBI Agent Peter Strzok. FBI Attorney Lisa Page. FBI Attorney James Baker. Former FBI Chief of Staff James Rubicki. FBI Assistant Director Edward William Priest. Former FBI Agent John Giacalone. Former FBI Agent Michael Steinbach. Former FBI agent Josh Campbell. On February 4, 2018, in an interview on CBS Apostrophe Face the Nation, Newland stated that she had been given details of the anti Trump dossier directly from Christopher Steele, which he then referred to the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Steele passed two to four pages of short points of what he was finding. And our immediate reaction to that was this is not in our purview. This needs to go to the FBI if there is any concern here that one candidate or the election as a whole might be influenced by the Russian Federation. That's something for the FBI to investigate. And that was our reaction when we saw this. It's not our, our, we can't evaluate this. Newland reportedly greenlit the initial meeting about the anti Trump dossier between Christopher Steele and FBI agent Michael Gita. Quoting from David Korn and Michael Isakoff's book Russian Roulette, the FBI checked with Victoria Newland's office at the State Department, do you support this meeting? Newland, having found Steele's reports on Ukraine to have been generally credible, gave the green light. Judicial Watch intends to find out how far the deep state was willing to go in their effort to discredit then-candidate Donald Trump. There clearly was an Obama administration no-holds-barred attempt to clear the path to the presidency for Hillary Clinton. Judicial Watch's FOIA lawsuits have already shown the Obama State Department was corruptly targeting President Trump. Judicial Watch already exposed elements of the plot when we released 42 pages of heavily redacted State Department documents containing classified information that was provided to Senator Band Cardin. DMD, top Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, an outspoken critic of President Donald Trump.
the documents show Russian political interference in elections and politics in countries across Europe. And then they released more heavily redacted state documents showing classified information was desperately sent to multiple U. S. Senators by the Obama administration immediately prior to President Donald Trump's inauguration. The documents reveal that among those receiving the classified documents were sent. Mark Warner, DVI, Senator Ben Cardin, DMD, and Senator Robert Corker, R. Tennessee.